In today's video, I'll show you how to change the sky of any video in DaVinci Resolve Studio. You'll be able to get these incredible results and give a special touch to your videos. Let's see how it's done. Once inside DaVinci Resolve, in order to change the sky of our video, we must go to the color module. The first thing we have to do is select an unused node. Now we go to the effects menu located in the upper right part. In the effects menu, we must look for the effect sky replacement. We just click the effect and drag it to the node. We already have the sky replacement effect applied to our node. We're going to remove the sky from our video. We open up the sky mask adjustments menu by clicking on this little arrow right here. There are two different ways to select the sky from our video and thus be able to eliminate it. The first is using the qualifier option. We click on this icon to open the qualifier panel. In the qualifier menu, we can use different modes. We have HSL, RGB, LUM, and 3D. I recommend using the last node since it's the one that usually gives the best results. Selecting the sky of the video is very simple. We just have to left click on the sky in the viewer part. Hold down and select the entire sky until it's completely white. Great we see that the sky has disappeared. If we've forgotten to select any part of the sky, we can solve it in the following way. We click on the icon of qualifier with the symbol of plus, so we can add more parts to our selection. Remember that selecting the sky with the qualifier method usually works well in the videos where the sky and the ground are clearly differentiated. If you have videos in which the sky and ground have very similar colors or the same luminosity, you could have problems when selecting the sky. For this reason, now I'm going to teach you the second method to select the sky. And this is none other than our beloved Magic Mask. In order to use Magic Mask, we must click on this icon here. Perfect. Once inside the Magic Mask panel, we must select the selector icon with the plus symbol. Now, we would just select the sky by left clicking, just like we've done before with the qualifier feature. And then we'd have to do the motion tracking by clicking on this two arrows icon. It's super easy to do, but if you have any questions in the description of this video, I will leave you a link with a complete tutorial of Magic Mask. Okay, once we've removed the sky using the qualifier or Magic Mask feature, the next step is to fix any edges or blemishes in the selection. Doing this is very easy. We must go to the Sky Mask Adjustments menu that we have opened before. Here, we will find different options to fix the border errors. For example, we can increase the refine option to hide those borders that we have on the roof of the buildings, or eliminate the white borders with the white level option. By modifying these parameters, we've managed to reduce those borders that we had in our selection. Now it's much better than before. In the sky replacement effect, we can create our own sky, and we can do it super fast. To create our own sky, we must go to the Artificial Sky option. To create the sky, we just have to raise its opacity in the Sky Opacity bar. We raise the value to 1.0. We have already created a sky, but we can do much more. We can change the color of the sky and look for a blue more in line with our video. Or if you want to make the sky red, why not? Okay, I'm going to look for a shade of blue that looks good with my video, that would be fine. You can also change the color of the lower part of the sky. By default, it's white, but you can look for a blue that's less intense than the main blue. Great. Now we go with the most interesting part. In the cloud opacity option, here we can add clouds to our sky. I increase the opacity, and as you can see, the clouds have appeared. We can customize the clouds. It's possible to change the size, the shape, the detail, sharpness. I recommend not increasing the detail too much as it will be noticeable that the clouds are not real. Another interesting option is the cloud time option, where we can totally modify the position of the clouds. Finally, we could also add an artificial sun to our sky in the hotspot brightness option. And just like the clouds, we can modify it to our liking. Okay, 
We already know how to create an artificial sky from scratch. That's great, but what if you want to add a photograph or a video of another sky? Well, I have bad news. If you thought it couldn't be done, yes you can. Now, I show you how to do it. Adding a video or image of another sky is very simple. Once you've removed the original sky with the sky replacement function, we need to import the video or image of the sky that we want to use into DaVinci Resolve. We could use this video of a sky with moving clouds, or we can also use a still image. We're going to do it using a still image of a sky. Now, we simply select the sky clip that we want to add and drag it to the nodes panel, like this. We have already added a node with the video or image of the sky. Now, we have to connect the node. We must connect this little green square with the other node where we've applied the sky replacement effect. But there is a problem. As we can see, there's no input of green color to which we can connect it. There's only one input of green color and it's already occupied. Very well. To solve it, we have to right click on the sky replacement node and then look for the option add OFX input. We click. As we can see, more inputs have been added to our node. And now we have another green input. Now we can connect the node with the video or image of the new sky. We click on this little green square and attach it to the OFX input. This little green arrow right here. Great, the new sky already appears in our video. But not so fast. We're not done yet. If your video has camera movement, we have to make sure the sky follows the same movement as the original video. As you can see, if I play the video, the sky is static in the background and doesn't follow the movement of the original video. To do the motion tracking, we select the node in which we've applied the sky replacement effect. And within the sky replacement menu, we go to the section sky position. Here, we can do the tracking. In match motion, we have four different options for tracking. The first of all, keyframing only to do it manually using keyframes. The second, track foreground to track the movement of the background in the original video. The third, track original sky to track the movement of the sky from the original video. And finally, FX tracker is to do the tracking using the DaVinci Resolve tracking panel. I recommend using the track foreground or track sky of the original video. Let's try to track foreground. Select it, and then click on the track foreground button. DaVinci Resolve will do the motion tracking in just a few seconds. Perfect. We've done the tracking. We see that some black borders have appeared. Don't worry, this is very easy to fix. We'll fix it in a moment. But first, we're going to review the tracking to see if it has been done correctly. Okay, in general, it could be useful, but we're going to test how it looks using Track Original Sky option. We select it and track again. We see that the black borders have reappeared. Don't worry, it's totally normal. To fix it, we just have to press the Auto Size for Motion button. We clicked and fixed. We're going to review the tracking of the sky. It has been much better than before. You can adjust the scale and position of the new sky as you like. We're already in the final stretch. Then I'll show you the last touches so that the integration of the new sky is perfect. In the event that the exposure of the original video and the sky do not match, you can modify the exposure so that it's the same in the part of the sky and in the part of the buildings. You must make the sky and the ground similar. For example, imagine that you have an orange sky and a sunset, but the buildings have a bluish tint. It does not match it and it will not look good. To change the appearance of the area of the building, you can go to the foreground appearance section. We activate the box, Adjust Foreground. And here, we can change the brightness of the buildings, the saturation, the color temperature to give it a warm or cold tone, the tent. By modifying all these settings, you'll be able to achieve a similar appearance to the sky and make your sky change effect totally professional. We can do exactly the same and change the appearance of the sky in the section Source Sky 
Let's see the end result. In the event that you're not convinced by the sky you've used or simply want to try other skies, changing it is very easy. We go to the media pool, find another sky and drag it to the nodes panel. Once we have the nodes with the new sky, we disconnect the node from the previous sky and we connect the node with the new sky. It's that simple. You can see that this sky is much darker. As I told you before, we can raise the exposure so that it resembles the area of the buildings. As always, here I leave you with the free DaVinci Resolve course, where you can learn many more things. That's all for today. See you in the next video.